Hey guys, we're out of the boat this morning. We have a couple projects we're going to be doing. The first thing is we are going to be blowing up the dinghy and getting in the water to do two things. We're going to be putting our name on the boat. We finally got our decal in, so we're going to have one on each side of the boat. We're excited about that. Mm -hmm. And the second thing is we're going to be removing the rudder uh, and the rudder assembly and all the, the pintles and the gudgeons uh, off of it. And we're going to be sending it into a company called Ruddercraft. And they actually, they made my tiller and I was so happy with the actual tiller that I contacted them, let them know about the channel. They were super excited and they wanted to support us. So they, they ended up offering to refurbish our entire rudder and uh, rudder provide assembly, the hardware. provide the, the, the hardware, either refurbish or replace it. So mm -hmm. we're going to be sending that all into them and they're going to redo it all. So we're going to have an entirely new uh, rudder, assembly. rudder assembly and steering, steering system. Uh, so it's, I guess the rudder is not going to be brand new, but it's going to be completely fixed. It's going to be as if it's new. Refurbished. Yes. So we'll have we'll have a totally new or refurbished steering system. And that'll be great because that'll complete kind of complete the safety stuff on the boat. Right. So we'll have the the standing rigging all brand new and the steering system will be refurbished or brand new. So uh and we'll see how that goes. Blowing up the dinghy, we took it out for its maiden voyage through the Davis Island channels. Just a heads up guys, we're waiting to air part 3 of our standing rigging replacement because we're working on simultaneous projects right now and this was the way that made the most sense to us. We pass by this boat every time we go out and we always dream about owning one just like it. So does anyone know the maker model of this sailboat? Because we really can't figure it out. After heading back to the boat, we started removing the rudder. The first step was to remove the rusted out cotter pins on the pintles. After that, the rudder just lifts right out. So I'm down here in the lazarette and I was trying to get to the bolts that hold the gudgeons on the stern so that I can get so that we can get those off and uh, send, it send, send it into Ruddercraft and as I was doing that I was climbing down in here and this is what happened. We have a hole in our boat now and that is I I, I just like the tiller <laughs> I I didn't fall on it but I hit it with my foot and it broke completely off this nylon this nylon fitting luckily it's above the water line barely. but barely because I can touch the water from here so if you lean the boat too far look there's the water if you lean the boat too far to the side 
water will come in. Oh, let me see. I can. Don't do it on purpose. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get on the I'm gonna get in the dinghy, duct tape the heck out of the outside of it, and we're gonna go get a we're gonna go get a uh, through haul from West Marine today and fix it. So because I, I can't have a hole in my boat. So that's that. So we went to had to go to emergency West Marine trip. Got a new through hull. It's a little it's beefier than the one we had before, and we have some marine adhesive sealant for it. And we're gonna be putting this on, and hopefully we'll be okay after that. I wanted to mention there's a debate as to whether you should use 5200 or 4200 to bed your through hulls. So what do you all think? Leave a comment and let me know. So we're just trying to cool off now, and after we installed the new through hull, we ended up, you know, getting down under there. I got it in the lazarette again, and I got it under the quarter berth. And Randy undid the bolts for the gudgeons, and we got those off. So we're ready to go home now. It's like two, three o'clock, hottest we've part of the day. Been out here like eight hours yeah. now working on the boat. So yeah. we're gonna do a little more tomorrow, and that's won't it. be putting on the name today. No, we'll be putting the name on tomorrow probably. So here's the gudgeons where the pintles from the rudder went into. As you can see, one's pretty corroded. There's a couple little stress cracks that I've found. There's a one major one looks like right there. So they're definitely gonna need to be probably remade, I would say. But we'll see what they do. The next day we went out to the marina to put the name on, and just like that Somnium really felt like our boat. Hey guys, thanks for watching. It's been six weeks since we've uploaded the first video and we've gotten so much support and so much feedback and we're really excited about it all and we're very grateful. So we've got a couple things we wanted to announce. As you can tell, we've started working with sponsors, which is incredible, and we're very appreciative of the support that they've given us so far and we have a few more to announce next week. We wanted to thank Ruddercraft for working with us on our rudder and they also made our tiller and if you have any work that you need done on your tiller or your rudder on your sailboat definitely go to them they're they're, they're awesome their link's going to be up there in the corner in other news we've also launched our website it's going to be right here let us know what you think and finally it's probably no surprise to you if you watch other sailing channels but we've launched our own patreon so if you'd like to support us you like the videos and want to keep want to, want to keep seeing them coming um, we very much appreciate it. Even just a dollar an episode would, would do a lot for us. So we'd be forever grateful. Again, thank you to everyone watching and stay tuned for part three of our standing rigging replacement. We also promise that we'll be out sailing again soon. We're getting a little antsy not being able to be out on the water and the Florida weather is finally starting to cool down. So we're excited about that. Definitely. Thank you guys. Next time on Somnium, we pull our chain plates and we get swaged.